In this video, we're going to be using Python to extend on from our previous tutorial where we looked at somebody's age and we basically told them what movies they were allowed to watch at cinema. Okay, what I want to do in this video is some error checking. And that means when somebody types in their age here, we expect them to type in numbers. Okay, that's just common sense. But sometimes you might bump a key or someone will be stupid and write in a word with letters in it, which is not a valid age. Okay, when you press enter, it kills your program comes up with some weird error message and that's not very fun at all so what we want to do is when somebody enters their age in we want to make sure that it's a number okay so in your code from your previous tutorial I'm going to type in what we need to do to get this error checking sorted out and then I'm going to explain it to you okay so at the top we're going to write in the word while and then true with a capital T and a colon Okay, your mouse cursor will indent, which is good, that's what we want. Then we're going to write the word try. And I want you to, on the next line, bring back the age, oops, sorry, input, please enter your age. Okay, we want that line in next. After that, we're going to write the word break. Then we're going to write accept with value error, with a colon, and then print in brackets there. Enter a valid age. All right, so that's all the code we need to get this working, but let's explain a little bit to you. Okay, the first line, while, that's a key word there, while, that is making a loop. We're going to loop some code over and over again until we get this age right. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look down at the next line here that says try. Now, try is a reserved word in Python that basically means... Well, it's going to let you test a block of code for errors. Okay, so on the next line, we're going to test this line here for any errors. So what we're expecting is for the user to type in an int or an integer. That's a whole number. Okay, if they do, then we just break the loop. Okay, this while loop here, we just break it off, skip over these next two lines of code, we don't need them, and we just go and run our if statements. Okay, now... If we're in this try section here and we're testing out our age here and somebody types in something stupid or they bump a character that they shouldn't and it's not an integer, then we won't break our program. We're going to skip past that and we're going to go to this accept section, the value error. Okay, the accept block, it allows you to handle an error. Okay, so the error we're handling today is a value error. So they've typed in the wrong value. Okay, and when somebody types in the wrong value, we just need to print, enter a valid age. Okay, once that message appears, we loop back to the start over here, and we try again. Okay, so we get the person to enter their age one more time. And we just go through the process again. If they type in a valid number, then we just break this loop, skip past these two lines because we don't need them, and we just go into our if statements. If they type in the wrong age, so type in a word or some funny characters, then we go back, we have a look at this um, value error that they typed in, and we tell them to enter a valid age. Okay, so I'm just going to save that up, and I'm going to run it, and see how that goes. Alright, so please enter your age, let's write cat. Alright, it knew that we didn't write in, in, in an integer, okay, so it printed enter a valid age. Okay, it's just handling that value error goes back up to the start here allows us to type it in again so let's write in 15 for our age since we got it right it came down to the if statements and ran those instead okay and it worked out that we can watch an MA rated movie okay so that's a simple way of handling errors value errors in particular in Python okay save that up and I'll catch you in the next video